from uh, when he asked them about how he used uh, propofol, he mentioned doing the push and then following it with a drip. Uh, you've, uh, you're referring to the same uh, paragraph that was referred to by Dr. Steinberg? Speculation. I will rule the objection if you know. I have no idea. I haven't listened to Dr. Steinberg's testimony. That's the answer. Okay. In inciting us to page 62, you've read the transcript. Correct. Have you listened to the interview? Um, no, I have not. I've you just... haven't heard the words as they were spoken by Dr. Murray? No, I just, uh, Mr. Waldron had provided me with just the transcript. Uh, it was typed. And when did you discuss this with Mr. Waldron? Did you dis did you discuss page sixty two with Mr. Walbury? Um, not specifically. This was part of my uh, review of the case. But did you did you discuss specifically that page with Mr. Walbury? I think it may have been part of our discussions. Uh, Thank you. Now. When a person has a cardiopulmonary arrest, time is of the essence, isn't it? That's correct. And the cardiopulmonary arrest is what you think occurred in this case. Is that correct? Um, I think the sequence that is most likely um, is that he had uh, uh, a respiratory arrest, meaning he stopped breathing, and that ultimately culminated in cardiac arrest. And the reason I say that is because um, uh, Dr. Mary, in his interview, stated that when he found uh, Mr. There's Jack no question pending, oh. Doctor. You don't think he had a cardiopulmonary arrest? I, I do, I do. I'm just, I'm just trying to elaborate on uh, how I believe the uh, the event occurred. I think that is uh, that's more of a kind of a generic term. I'm trying to explain how the, the, the process occurred. Well, on page three, resources, doesn't he? Um, what are you referring to? He is a doctor. He's, he's got skill and training. Sustain. Uh, no, no evidence of, that he's a doctor? No, no evidence of that he's a doctor. You're going to have to rephrase the question. I don't know what, what it means in the context of resources. Okay, well, there are things that you can do when you see a person not breathing that don't require apparatus. Is that correct? <laughs> Um, that is correct, yeah. For example, if you, if you saw me fall over and I'm not breathing, well, you probably wouldn't want to do anything, but if that were to occur, would you immediately go for help or would you try to maybe do CPR, ventilation, I would first make that initial assessment. Someone can be down, uh, you know, they could have had a seizure. You, you make that initial assessment just to the, the, the very basic assessment of the patient. And if you are not in a hospital and you're not in an area where you have resources, the first thing to do is to call 911. I mean, that is really very fundamental.